Oh hey guys, so you know how I use the tagline, why not? But usually applied to craft projects, style, home interior design stuff. But I thought that there is a deeper meaning to the whole why not thing. It can really be applied to life and I started thinking about people in my life that live the why not lifestyle. That sort of thing where they've taken something that's maybe a hardship, an insecurity, a trauma, and really made it part of their legacy. So the first person that I think of when I think of that is my little sister Tess. So I sat down to talk to her about her why not moment. This is my little sister Tess. <laughs> hey! We were talking last night about your scar. Mm -hmm. Which, if you guys saw the Draw My Life episode, I talked about how when Tessie was eight years old, she got hit by a car, and it was a really traumatic event, obviously. It's really inspiring how she's kind of overcome that event and now has this scar that's kind of a badge of honor. So people sometimes think that it's a shark bite, right? Yes, some people do think it's a shark bite, which I think is a little extreme, but one, you know, shark bite, hey, <laughs> me. <laughs> when I was, a uh, Younger, my best friend and I, we used to kind of come up with these stories like shark bites and falling in ditches with barbed wire and like, Whoa. you know, as time went on and, I, and my scar did heal, I was scared to go in the sun. I had to wear swim pants to go swimming. Because I feel like there's stuff that people have in their lives that they're not ready to own. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, maybe you're a teenager or something and people are like, just be yourself, like, you know, just own it, and, and, and sometimes it's one thing to hear that and another thing to actually be ready to do that. I would say the number one thing for me in getting over it and kind of gaining the confidence back and being, you know, not afraid to wear shorts and, you know, the common ingredient is time. Better to own it than be self-conscious about it for the rest of life. It's crazy because what used to be a my major focus and point of embarrassment and whatever growing up became now one of my favorite things about my body. Like, it really is, it's kind of like a fabulous accessory. It <laughs> is! Really Nobody it. else has it. It's true, it's no one else easy. has it. High five. I yeah! That. That's so good. So, so the takeaway is really just, you can overcome those things. It takes time, but the stuff that is traumatic or hard or an imperfection ends up kind of really making you who you are. Yeah. But of course it wouldn't be a Mr. Kate video unless we had some sort of style design funness going on. So we are gonna style two outfits around your best accessory, her best accessory, which is her scar, so you guys can see it and enjoy it too. Great. She totally rocks those rompers and those shorts outfits and really inspires me. I hope she inspires you guys. And I want to hear from you if there's someone in your life that has had a why not moment and lives the why not lifestyle and maybe it's you or maybe this has inspired you. So let me know if you like hearing stories about the deeper meaning of why not and if you want to maybe hear some more stories from some more badass people. Mr. Kate! Whoa, thank you so much, seriously, for watching this video. And please check out these other videos in these beautiful black frames. Aren't these frames cool? And also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that fun stuff. And I really appreciate you for being alive. Bye.